monday.com sales crm tutorial how to use monday crm hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with the monday.com sales crm so let's get into it now crms are a very integral part of any business and are required by all businesses because at some point you have to make sure that your customer relationships are fulfilled and satisfactory and monday.com alongside its project management tools have has now launched a sales crm this sales crm is a great tool and if you go ahead into your monday.com dashboard click on the top left you have the sales crm and this will create your sales crm desktop or dashboard now one thing to keep in mind is that the crm tools of monday are not available for free so you have multiple different plans you can choose from they do provide you with a 14-day free trial, so you can go on ahead and check those particular trials out to see whether or not this suits you or you want to proceed with another CRM. Now, let's get started with using the monday.com sales CRM because personally, after using monday.com for project management, using the CRM just makes a lot of sense for me. So from here, I'm going to add a new workspace, and this is a workspace for our sales, and I will name it Miraki. Now this might be for one particular business and then from here you can click on add from templates to start adding boards from CRM based templates. Now they have a few different CRM based templates including a basic CRM template, customer projects, real estate, supporting sales material, marketing activities, customer onboarding and more. So you have a few different options but you can choose whichever one you like. Personally, if you're looking to customize your CRM, I like to go with the default basic template simply because it's very generalized and you can make it very specific to, according to your own needs. So we're going to take this template over here and click on use template. Now that our template is being applied to our CRM dashboard, I can get started with customization of the template. Now, one thing to note is that different businesses and different niches might have different requirements of their CRM, so you can customize those accordingly. Now, in this CRM template, you have a few different fields. You have the contact board, lead board, deal board, account board, activity, sales dashboard, and a getting started panel to help you in setting up your CRM. Now, in this, what I like to do is I like to get started with contacts because they are one of the most integral part of any CRM. Now, in this template, we have two groups and you can categorize your contacts in multiple different ways. Active contacts, inactive contacts. Let's say I have archived contacts. So let's say I have archived contacts and I want to denote them in a purple color. And now I can add people that we might have dealt with in the past that are no longer in contact for a really prolonged time. And I can add those people in our archived contacts. With that, in the form of a column, you have information displayed about any contact. You have the type, accounts, deals, titles, priorities, and more. You can easily add more information about a particular contact simply by scrolling to the right. Once you scroll to the right, click on add column and you can click on more columns. From here, you can add your own customized type of information. Let's say that I want to add a alternate phone number for these contacts. So I will click on phone and I'm going to rename this column into alternate number. And then I can add their alternate phone numbers over here like this. Now, in this way, you can add more information about every contact. However, some people might wonder, how am I supposed to link different columns from other boards? Well, as you guys can see, you have one contact and they are definitely going to be related to an account or a deal. So for that, let's take a look at our deal and account board first. So you can go into deals over here and you will see the basic information about any deal such as the stage, the owner of the deal, which can be the person on your end of the business who is responsible for dealing with that business. Then you have the deal values and the particular contact that is related. Now, you don't want to have to do this manually. You want this to be an automated process where you can select a particular contact. To be able to do that, we can go into leads and you will see you have leads as well. And then you also have accounts. So accounts, deals, and contacts all have these interlinks between them. Now I'll show you guys how you can add a contact deal or account into your board. So let's say I want to build a new board and I'll just name this into my contact board or just um, a summary board. Just to show you guys how you can link contacts and deals. And let's say I want to 
go on ahead and add some information about ongoing deals, ongoing deal one, and then deal two. That's what I'm going to name my second task, deal two. Now over here, I want to illustrate the uh, accounts that they are linked to and the contact. So for that, you're going to click on add column. Then you're going to select connect boards, click on select boards, and you are going to choose the accounts board and then you're going to choose the contacts board once you choose these you are just going to proceed further like this and we're just going to select these two boards like this and now once you have completed that you're going to click on connect boards at the bottom deals and then we're just going to create a two-way connection for these types of boards i always create a two-way connection because i always have to display the information back into the other board and then you're going to click on create now from here you can click on create a mirror column and this will automatically show a mirror column that you can use now in my account section i want to display the name of the account maybe I'm going to display maybe the board, description, number of employees, employee profile. Let's just say I want to just display the board. And then I want to display the owner of the deals or maybe just the board. And just like that, mirror columns can be created. Now, once you have done that, you can go on ahead and choose. Now, this is the board which displays the companies. So I'm going to rename this into company like this. And then from here, if I just click on this field, it's going to show me all of the accounts that are present and I can just link that account. So the Binder Inc. company or if this is the HSB company, whatever one it is, I can use that. And then you also have a mirror column that can help you in providing more information. You can add different types of boards and interlink them all together to make it easier for you to have a overview of your CRM. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with Monday.com's CRM. It is a great tool to use. Plus, if you want to use it permanently for upwards of five seats or five members, it only costs $12 per seat per member per month. And that is going to round about to $60 per month if you do annual billing of course if you go with monthly billing you are going to no longer be able to access a 18 percent discount however you always have the option to go for a trial first before you commit so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.